Welcome to Switched On Schoolhouse, a CD-ROM based homeschool curriculum from Alpha Omega Publications. Switched On Schoolhouse Pre-Calculus is a high school math course that is typically included in a 12th grade course of study. Units include relations and functions, trigonometric functions, identities and functions of multiple angles, inverse trigonometric functions, probability, and much more. Now let's take a look at a pre-calculus lesson to see how concepts like these are covered. In a unit entitled Relations and Functions, let's look at a lesson called Ordered Pair Numbers, Relations. Most Switched on Schoolhouse lessons begin with a brief introduction and a list of objectives for the lesson. These objectives help students stay focused on important lesson content and provide parents with an effective way to measure mastery of lesson content. At the beginning of most lessons, your students will also encounter a list of vocabulary words that will be used throughout the lesson. We've included several activities to encourage mastery of these important words. For example, students can hear the correct pronunciation of each word. Subset. R cross R. In addition, the vocabulary arcade games encourage mastery of the vocabulary words by providing practice in the correct spelling of each word and in matching each word with its definition. Let's look at a sample. Flashcards allow students to easily review the words and their definitions. Many lessons include small instructional videos, sometimes called tiny tutors. The teachers featured in these small video clips provide special instructions, additional information, and important tips for students. An ordered pair is used to represent relations and functions. The first value in the ordered pair is called the domain. The second value in the ordered pair is called the range. Always put the domain first when writing an ordered pair. Math can be a difficult subject to teach, but Switched on Schoolhouse math courses provide text-based instruction interspersed with multimedia examples of difficult-to-grasp skills to assist parents in meeting the academic needs of even their most math-challenged students. Suppose that the weights of any number of students are recorded by the school nurse. The pairing of the student number and his corresponding weight is a relation and is written like this. These data are written as a set of ordered pair numbers. Each element of the set is an ordered pair. The first element of each pair is the student number, and the set of all the first elements is called the domain of the relation or data set. The second element of each pair is the weight, and the set of second elements is called the range of the relation or data set. After completing the first section of lesson text, the student can continue on to the next section of the lesson, reading the text and utilizing the included multimedia. Animations like this one may help your students better understand difficult concepts. To visualize R cross R, Think of a horizontal number line extending infinitely in both directions, crossed by a vertical number line extending infinitely in both directions. Each positive and negative real number on the horizontal number line can be paired with each positive and negative real number on the vertical number line to give all possible combinations of two real numbers. Any relation that consists of ordered pairs of real numbers, therefore, is a subset of R cross R. At the end of the lesson, the student is presented with a series of questions that provide a review of lesson content. Questions are presented in a variety of formats, including matching, 
fill in the blank, multiple choice, multiple select, click and place, Correct. essay questions, and many more. 85 to 90 percent of student work is graded instantly by the program. Correct. Answers are automatically saved as the student works through the questions and immediate feedback is given after each question has been answered. Good answer! If a parent has set the program to allow for multiple attempts, students will be looped back through the lesson to answer questions that were marked wrong on the first attempt. The lesson is complete when all questions have been answered correctly or when the student has exhausted his allowed attempts on each question. The student can then return to the home page Good to continue answer. through the rest of his daily assignments.